Despite many challenges, Franklin Pierce Schools near Tacoma is beating the odds with higher test scores and increased graduation rates. Details next on Newsmakers. Hi, I'm Sabrina Register. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. We are in Spokane today for the annual meeting of the Washington State School Directors Association. And joining me right now is Dr. Frank Hewins, who is the superintendent for Franklin Pierce Schools. Thanks so much, Superintendent, for coming on the program. Thank you, Sabrina. Nice to be here. Tell us a little bit about your district. As I mentioned, you're located south of Tacoma. Correct. We're, um, we're a suburban district just, just south of the city of Tacoma, and we uh, have about uh, 7,500 students, uh, about 1,000 staff, and we are uh, a very diverse uh, school district. Um, we are a majority-minority school district. We have uh, a variety of uh, cultures represented, 50 to 60 languages. Uh, we have quite a high poverty factor. About two of, out of every three of our kids uh, qualify for free or reduced lunch. Some, um, some significant challenges that some of these children are facing when they come to school. Some significant challenges, yes. And we, um, we, don't, um, we don't use them as excuses. We use them as uh, opportunities to, to make families' lives better and, and to really get our kids uh, ready for the future. So despite those odds, like I said, you all are, are seeing some really remarkable results, beating the odds. What, what, is, what are you seeing and what is making the difference in your opinion? Well, I think it's a, it's a, a commitment by our staff uh, that uh, right from the school board down through every one of our 1,000 employees that um, you know, we're committed to the vision that we have to, to have every student uh, be prepared for post-secondary education and uh, creating every opportunity to make that happen. Um, and we see that uh, their, the belief in that really uh, assists us in, in getting the job done. And so what kind of results are you seeing? I had mentioned higher test scores. We are, we are, we are seeing um, results in a, in a number of areas and, and we have to focus on get a whole child in order to do this. Um, our students don't normally come with um, uh, the advantage of, of having a um, uh, early childhood education and being ready for for school at kindergarten and so we've we've done a lot of things to to assist in that we've we've established full day kindergarten for all our all our elementary schools for all parents at, at no additional cost uh, we've reached out in, in early childhood education as well in partnering with uh, child care centers and helping them um, use curriculum that will get them ready so it sounds like you're starting from the beginning. We are starting from Even the beginning. Even before they're entering kindergarten, you really want to start them off on the right foot. Correct. And we focused on, on things such as attendance at school. Um, every um, elementary school actually has a graduation goal in their school improvement plan, and that focuses mainly around attendance. And we've been able to raise our attendance so that 97% of our um, of our students in elementary school uh, have missed no less than 15 percent of of school during the course of a year, and that that's made a big difference, you know, because they have to be there in order to, to get what they need. And you're seeing that even through the grades. And, so as they get older and finally become seniors in high school, you are seeing uh, an increased graduation rate, are you not? Correct, correct. We are seeing um, a significantly uh, increased graduation rate about. Five years ago, about the time I took um, the, the seat as superintendent in our district, uh, we were cast uh, in a pretty poor light as a dropout factory uh, by some uh, data that came out through, uh, through uh, the news media. Um, and we were given that, uh, that label, and five years later, we probably deserved it at the time. We had about a, a little over 60% graduation rate at that time. And, the, and then over the course of the last five years, it's now over 80%. Proven them wrong. Yeah, Unfortunately, so we we're out of time. But thanks so much for sharing your success story with Thank us. Thank you. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. Headline news at the top and bottom of the hour. Hope you can stay with us.